Yo, YouTube, what's the deal? Let's sound like a goat over here. This is Six Sense here with another Logic Pro X tutorial. Okay, so I'm actually going to go over an option that is highly overlooked, sometimes misunderstood. And I'm just talking personal experience here. And it's called Solo Mode. Okay, now Solo Mode is an option that replaces an option that is no longer available in LPX that was available in Logic Pro 9. So don't go searching for it in Logic Pro X because you'll kind of, you know, like waste some time searching for it because it's not an option any longer. And that's why I'm making this video to share with my peers, share my knowledge and fruits of my research. Okay, so what we have is uh, in Logic Pro 9, okay, there was an option that said track, solo, mute, and then there was like a slow response and a fast response, right? So when you have a multi timbral instrument and you select one MIDI region, solo button, all of them in that multi timbral instrument get soloed, okay? So if you had, I think it was like the fast response or, or I'm not sure exactly how those options really work because I never used it personally in Logic Pro 9. I, I jumped ship as soon as Logic Pro X came out. So... Now, you know, that would actually solo an individual track, right? Now that no longer exists in Logic Pro not, uh, X. So now what we have here is a solo mode button. But before I go to that, there's another option. Right click any track, track header components, show on and off. Now you have an on and off button and you can deactivate every single track. Okay. You can deactivate individual ones if you want. And, you know, you can do that and solo these two. You can solo as many or as little as you want. Okay, so that's a cool option. Not really what I was going for, but it works. Okay, so it's totally up to you how you want to use that. Just wanted to show you that and get that knocked out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and hide that again. Okay, so right click, track header components, hide on and off. Boom. Now, up here. In this gray area, right click, customize control bar, and boom, solo. Do you believe I had that unchecked this whole entire time? I can't even believe it. I'm, I'm blown away like crazy me, right, for not exploring my options. Okay, so what we have here is a solo button. Now I'm thinking, all right, solo, I already have solo buttons. I don't need solo in the menu too, you know what I mean? So, but now I understand the value of it, and I'm going to share it. Boom, so we have that checked. Now we have the solo button right there, right? So boom, we check that and everything turns yellow. We uncheck it, it's blue again. So we'll go ahead and check it, right? But now none of these regions are selected. You select a region and now that region is soloed. All right, simple as that, that's it. So we have, all right, so now if you wanna shift select, another region, you can shift select as many regions as you want. All right, great, great technique for layering sounds, comparing and contrasting how different elements work together or not. And that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to show you today, guys. Uh, this is another Logic Pro X tutorial for you. Really, really hope this helps. If it doesn't help in what you're looking to do, let me know why. And maybe there is a way that I can help you out, okay? I love sharing my knowledge, so feel free to comment below with any concerns, quirks, uh, comments, anything you got, all right? So definitely, thank you for watching. Hope this helped, and God bless. Happy producing, guys.